Hey guys, how you doing? All right, so I uh, I just got back from the New York uh, Custom Knife Show. It was in Jersey City, New Jersey. Had an awesome, awesome time. I was uh, able to meet a lot of the people that were on YouTube and Facebook and Instagram. Um, what can I say? It was a great show. I only went one day, which was today. I think I was there from like uh, 10 till around uh, 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Um, I don't really stay long at these things, you know, it's just really tough for me to, to get time. So uh, I, you know, wanted to make sure I made all the rounds, ma met everybody, and it was fantastic. That's all I gotta say. I just got a couple cards from uh, a couple people that were there, obviously. Um, Gavco was there, um, Sebastian was there uh, with his uh, lovely girlfriend. Uh, I met both of them, they were awesome. Uh, Tough Thumbs was there. Um, so I got to meet uh, Jeff. He's a pretty cool guy. We didn't get to talk too much. It's very, very busy when these guys are selling knives, um, but hopefully I'll have more time. Uh, Greg, uh, Greg Medford, uh, another jarhead. So, you know, we're talking Marine Corps stuff and knives, and it was awesome. So he gave me some good tips uh, about the knife making world, which is awesome. Uh, Aldo, um, New Jersey Steel Baron, uh, pretty cool, good times. You know, he came a little bit later. And just, just tons of guys there. I think uh, Jim Ske Skeeton, or Roger, I call him Roger. I think that's his real name. Um, it's good to meet him and his crew. Uh, there was a lot of different styles, a lot of different knives there. Um, I didn't pick up any knives. Uh, I picked up this, which was, uh, it's called Giraffe Bone. Uh, pretty cool stuff. Uh, I'm not really sure how to work with it, which is why I bought it, because uh, I'm always trying to find new ways of really cool texture uh, i think it's stabilized uh, giraffe bone um, for 50 bucks no problem uh, i don't necessarily go there all the time to uh, buy buy and collect knives i really go more for the resource to meet people uh, if i find something that really jumps out at me and really speaks to me then yes i will absolutely buy it i did speak to a couple gentlemen already about maybe making purchases later on uh, so we'll see how that works out um, and hey, look, these, these guys, you know, they're, they're professionals in their trade. Uh, I, would, I would really like to be in some of these guys' shoes. And, you know, with your guys' help and everybody else's help, I think uh, I could definitely get there. Um, and I want to say thank you for the, the few guys that um, came up to me and, you know, appreciated my work. I guess they're my uh, semi-fans or they watch my YouTube channels or whatever and they you know came up to me and it's really good to actually know that people are watching you and uh you know really want to buy your stuff and are really interested in your work so it was pretty awesome uh to have that you know i'm i'm not really like the celebrity type person so it was you know i'm pretty humble but you know anybody that came up to me i was more than, more than happy to meet you guys unfortunately i wasn't able to stay too late uh because of time constraints and all that but the people i did meet were awesome and you know most of these guys I, I hope to have a relationship with them you know throughout the years um, and you know continually go to shows hopefully my schedule will now um, make that happen so the next thing is just I, I just have pictures I don't have any video or audio it's just gonna be pictures so if you want to stay tuned for all the pictures of the knife show then by all means do so um, I just I'm just gonna do a, a picture collage and you guys can check it out if you guys are interested in any of uh, my knives, you can go to threeriverblades.com. But I highly suggest that if you're a fan of any of the guys that you watch on YouTube, if you can make it to New York, they have one more day on Sunday. Um, you know, go check these guys out. They sell out quick. And that was one of the biggest things that I learned from this was if you have a vendor or someone that you really like to buy knives from, go early, go on Friday. I had a work Friday. And I probably could have made it there, but it would have been late. And I think they closed at 6 o'clock on Friday. So I really didn't get that time to, to get out there. And by the time I got there, the knives that I was looking for were already sold. So, you know, keep that in mind. And that's why I go to these things, because you always learn something. You always, always learn something. And uh, it was awesome. So that's all I'm going to say. But uh, if you get a chance, maybe next year. Uh, I think they had, there's two of them in the same venue. I think it's March is the Northeast Knife Show. So I hope to see all you guys there. I'm going to try to make that one as well. All right, guys, that's it. Stay tuned for the show. Thanks. Bye.